Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be going over delegated administration. Now what is delegated administration? So it's pretty much an admin giving a group of users some admin privileges where they're able to reset passwords, create users, um, assign permission sets and such. So as you know, partial uh, admin privileges, not the extent where they have full admin control. But I'd say it's quite useful, especially for, say, a reporting manager and such, like a sales team manager or a, uh, a solutions manager, uh, support manager. Because if their users are locked out or they have to reset a password, uh, they can just go to the manager for that simple thing. So I do have some notes right over here. Um, so as mentioned, they can unlock users, assign users to specify profiles, assign or remove permission sets, um, manage custom objects as well. And some things they can't do, they can't assign profiles or permission sets with modify all data. So as mentioned before, uh, to a certain extent, but anyway, I will have a link in the description for your referential needs. But anyway, let's get right to it. So you can go to the quick find box and type in delegated administration, and this will pop up. All right. so. Let's click new and let's call this the admin group for example sake. And another thing, you can enable the group for login access. Um, this is quite optional. Uh, the same thing what an administrator can do, they can uh, log into someone else's uh, account and see what's going on you know, the behind the scenes, seeing it from the user's perspective. But these uh, delegated administrators are only limited to their roles and uh, profiles. So let's just check this off. And there's a small uh, detail right over here. So it will let you know what this is about. All right, let's save. All right. So as you can see, you can assign a group of uh, users. Um, and here are for the roles, uh, the profiles they can control, uh, the permission sets they can assign, public groups they can manage, and the custom objects they can uh, administer. So let's add a user so let's do the lookup so let's pick Mike Jones the support manager save let's assign which roles he can control so let's look at say customer support team and let's add one more say customer international so those are the ones and let's add a profile all right so he is the support manager so i only want him limited to the support okay support profile yep Okay, so as you can see, Mike Jones can do administrative work for these profiles and these roles. And he can log in as one of the users holding these uh, roles right, right over here. So.
All right, now let's test this out. I am quickly going to log in as Mike Jones, and we will see, is he able to create a user? Okay, everyone, I am back online, but as Mike Jones. So let us see if you can create the user. So you can do it from the quick find box, type in user, or you can go right over here to create, go to user. And let's focus on the right over here. So as mentioned, he is limited to custom profile and the custom support uh, roles. So let's see, as you can see, it's only these roles. He's also a support manager as well, so. And this profile. That's it. All right, well, I'm going to quickly write up the uh, user. All right, so I just filled out the details. So let's see. Save. And there you have it. Tom Powers was created by Mike Jones. Now back to uh, delegated administration. You can add more than one person here. And you can have uh, more profiles, more roles. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. Another thing I wanted to cover is uh, looking at the audit trail. Because maybe as an admin, you want to keep track of your uh, delegated users. So just type in audit. And you will see what the users have done. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And until next time. I will catch you in the next one.